Hello my wonderful people this you are welcome to this new Canva tutorial anyway in this video we are simply going to duplicate what you see on your screen which can be used to celebrate Mother's Day or even International Women's Day you can use this design for that and we are going to be creating everything from scratch inside of Canva so make sure you are sticking to the end of this video to learn everything you can learn about this design the name is Benjamin let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started all right so you can see this is what we have at the moment let's first of all come into the home page just to let you know how you can get the same dimension click on create a design and you should simply search for instagram post the 4 by 5 which is 1080 by 1350 once you click on it you should get you know the same dimension as we have over here for the background it's already set but let's assume it's white because you have a white background okay come to background color and just add your color okay so if i choose this this is the color code it's 4b1 e5 f okay so that's the color code we are working with nice one here now one of the things i really love to work with a lot of times is grunge to add some texture into our designs and we are going to be doing the same thing for this one okay so let's add some grunge. anyway <laughs> all right so come into elements and search for grunge someone told me i sound like a nigerian even though i am Ghanaian. you know i don't know how true that is so not look at me search for grunge okay and come into photos okay in photos you have so many ones you know so many grunges you can use so i'll choose this one feel free to choose any one of your choice because always remember there is no limit to creativity i i don't know why i'm getting confused so we use the transparency okay this is what we have at the moment okay lovely jubbly so let's go into element and let's add photos okay of women so you can search for i would just search for african woman okay african woman there are so many african women i would find you know there's a nice one i can add i can add the number of beautiful ones i, I like this one you know i like this just cool so you just choose what you think works for you okay and i'm also going to be using what i think works for me so we need about seven photos so i have one two three four five okay now we'll just take our time to go through fantastic so now i have all seven photos and what i wish you could simply do is to select all of it and come to remove background but we have to do them one after the other okay so i select this click on background remover once it removes you do this to all of them all right so we have everything over here let's first of all create a new um background okay so that we select everything we've done here okay move it here just for now all right then let's come back here so we want to add this element it's called a jagged rectangle paper shape jagged rectangle rectangle paper shape so let's see jag rectangle okay so even when i do jag rectangle you can see we have this over here that's what we are going to be working with okay so i'll keep this here duplicate it move this one to the top duplicate it move this one to the top okay now this i'm going to keep it red you can use any color please use any color of your choice but if you want to stick to what i'm working with that's also fine all right okay then we'll keep this to green you know usually a lot of african flags have the red yellow green that's why i'm keeping it african but you can go in for any style at all you want okay nice one so this is what we have at the moment is looking pretty pretty good all right so let's now bring our photos back we want to start with this woman okay so i cut and paste okay then we just crop and we just, just make sure we are cropping things nicely we bring it here not to bring it we bring it here we increase the size and i think this is very beautiful okay and you know she has a beautiful smile so we can select next crop of women we are going to be using so we want this one this lady and this lady so come over here and you know we paste them here so this is a beautiful islamic or muslim lady and we are just going to you know crop her nicely you know and bring her here okay we'll do the same for this lady as well 
and we'll do the same for this one as well okay very beautiful this one this woman looks like Ghanaian because of her outfits but i don't know not so sure but i'm just saying okay so we will just you can see what i'm doing nice one so now that we have this what we can simply do okay i'll keep this one even behind here like that okay so that uh-huh so just select these two people okay the green element and the nigerian lady okay select them come to layer show layers okay show layers and move them to the top okay so they should be above everyone just like this okay now the remaining three ladies we can just cut them also and bring them here then we can also delete this last page okay then i can you know bring this woman here because of how she's positioned here i think it's nice having her here and we can bring this one also here okay this woman and increase it looks like a young pretty lady and we have this lady as well so we can also bring this lady here keep her here like this and increase the size okay so something like this so you can see what we are trying to do now after you do that just right click on any of them come to layer and come to show layers okay now for them you have to send them to the back okay so send them they should go behind the yellow so this is what you should have you know at the moment just going to keep this one like this or we just even increase this one okay so you can see what we have at the moment now crop this lady you know just to have her here like this then select everyone and bring everyone down a little bit okay nice one now we'd we'll also keep this down a little bit okay and i think we have something beautiful going on right now so let's adjust the images okay so click on the nigerian woman come into edit into edit let's first of all go into filters okay and there's a particular filter i want us to use which is called the noir and the mono okay so use that then come back over here go into adjust okay in adjust i want you to increase the sharpness and the clarity okay to have something like what we have at the moment okay the sharpness should go up more then right click copy style paste right click copy style paste right click copy style paste right click copy style and paste this is just to avoid us from redoing the whole thing for each and every one here so you can see what we have at the moment now we can add our text press t on your keyboard to add the text and we can say mother or oh, mother's day okay so mother's day something like this but i'll change this font so i'm just going to use the madly madeline font okay so we'll keep it here we can increase the size and drop it down a little bit and keep this to white okay then we can just say happy all right and we would also keep it here so happy mother's day okay so this is what we have at the moment i can reduce this move it up so that the d can fit here okay so something like this i think it's you know it works very well let me drop this one down a little bit and it means that this would also have to come down a little bit so we can have something beautiful like this okay so happy mother's day interesting so after you do that we can just add some slight effect to this text okay so come into shadow change the white to black okay and reduce the offset to keep things closer okay and you can also increase the blur a little bit so we have something like this all right now we can just even make the text go behind everything so right click come to layer come to show layers okay on the show layers you want everything to go behind okay but you can still access the text over here now if you want to do something more interesting you can have you know the different rules uh, mothers get to play so maybe cheerleader nutritionist best friend i did it on the first design i did you know so i just wrote them small small and just spread them across so i can just copy them there's something easy that i'm not going to redo it okay and we can just have them across like this so this is what we have 
at the moment and i hope it helped i hope you found it helpful all right so i hope you found this helpful just in case you have something in particular you want me to make a tutorial about make sure you're leaving it in the comment section below um, i have free templates and i can also help you to upgrade to canva pro for free the links are also in the description make sure to check it out my name is benjamin always remember that it's no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace